Did you like that? I like that. Oh, it was just out of my head. <laughs> was it out of your head? It's just <laughs> not off the paper. <laughs> it just just went <laughs> in there. <laughs> Hi everyone! Hi! I'm Paul. I'm Vicky. And this is our 2015 Citroen Relay that we will be converting into our tiny home from home when we, with our dog Arrow, will be starting our van life adventures. So, we're not new to adventures, uh, but we are new to van life. So please come along and follow us on our van life journey. Now this is our first ever vlog, so it probably seems a great place to start to introduce you to our van. And share with you ideas and dreams that we've had for our van and how it's going to aid us on our journey. <laughs> we rock! <laughs> I can't believe you fibbed to everybody. You're a fibber. You're a big fibber. <laughs> Okay, I may have fibbed a little. This is our Vivaro camper we built before Covid. We managed three weekends away in between lockdowns in the summer of 2020 and quickly realised van life was the life and lifestyle for us as we moved towards early retirement. We spent many years enjoying camping with a Land Rover, a roof tent and a trailer tent but van life was much more practical offering superior comfort and mobility in all weathers. We also realised that for a longer time away from home we would need a bigger van with off-grid capabilities. So we looked and found this Citroen Relay on eBay from a dealer in Scotland. We couldn't travel to see or collect the van during lockdown so took a huge risk and had it traded to a motorway services where we waited for its arrival before a short test drive and then home. We're stuck in lockdown. What, what it's... Lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> there was one or two jobs that we could get on with. Um, so what we wanted in this cab area was two single seat swivels. So during lockdown, we got in touch with a uh, clicker conversion and they supplied us with two single swivels. And we were lucky enough to find a matching swivel chair off eBay, which was in really, really good condition, wasn't it? So it could match the two swivels. So it was a simple task to remove the seats from the seat bases. Using a T40 Torx drive, it was just a simple case of removing one, two, three, four, five, six bolts, and the seat base lifted straight off once you'd removed this electrical plug socket. The rib swivel comes with instructions to follow. Right, with the seat base placed on top, you need to drop the handle down Give it a little bit of a twizzle. <laughs> Which is easier said than done. Oh, it worked five freaking minutes ago. Oh, like that. And what that allows you to do is access the bolt holes in order to bolt the swivel down onto the base. Now, Rib recommend using Loctite onto the supply of countersunk bolts they provide. Right, following those instructions, that was quite an easy job of getting the swivel in place. I'm leaving the swivel slightly swiveled around though now so I can access the bolts from underneath and now fit my seat base on. Not my seat, my seat base, not my seat base, my seat on. So now I'm looking forward to get my seat on again. So lifting the front seat in with the help of Mad Mac. Say hi Mad Mac. Hello. What we've done is slide the seat forward on its runners in order to get one, two, three, four countersunk bolts up through a spacer plate and nuts on the top. Now they're in, we're going to slide the seat back and do exactly the same to the front. So uh, we have an idea for this area being swivel. Our idea for this area being swivel. <laughs> so our <laughs> idea for the front of the van is to turn it into a dining area. Dining area. This will be our dining area, leaving the yeah. rest of the van for living space and sleeping space and all that other malarkey. 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 We're so doing we... a lot of malarkeying. <laughs> we've, we've planned to do a great deal of malarkeying. A lot of malarkey yeah. goes on at malarkey. that end of the van. Yeah. Eating it's daytime room. malarkey and nighttime malarkey. <laughs> <laughs> and we will have a lagoon table mounted 
to enables us to have a lunch and yeah. dinner, a dining yeah. area rather, yeah. just here, yeah. leaving the rest of them yeah. for malarkey. Now I'm sure most of you know what a lagoon table is, um, but for those that don't, it's a table that can swivel. So it can swivel it out of the way during the daytime while we're driving, and then when we set up our kitchen, we can swivel it round to make a table, and here we'll be sat having our uh, malarkey. What are you doing? Making some hummus. Making some hummus? And she's got this little gadget that we're hoping to take away van life thing. It's, it's a Kenwood, um, 800 watt um, tri-blade. It's got a um, little chopping bowl and it's got lots of different attachments. So there's mashing and there's pureeing and there's whisking. So today I'm going to make some hummus because I haven't got really into hummus just lately. Um, but also I wanted to make sure that it chopped nuts and things. <gasps> smoothies, make some smoothies. My van will be kitted out. A sleeping kitchen. A sleeping kitchen. <laughs> so in there I've got two chickpeas and a third of a cup of sun dried tomatoes and we put in the parsley and paprika, salt, pepper, Italian herbs and that's everything. Yeah. Oh and garlic salt. Good. First time I'm going to use the Kenwood. I've saved some of the chickpea water just in case it doesn't coat so it gives it a little bit more liquid to whiz it around. Wow. <gasps> wow. <laughs> I'm using the tri-blade hand blender and it worked perfectly. I had it switched on for about a minute and it perfectly blended my tin of chickpeas into a hummus. Cool. It tastes delicious. So what are you doing now then? <laughs> I'm making some skillet bread to go with the hummus that I've just made because I really really like it. Is that that stuff that the guys from F&A made? F&A yeah, stole it from them so sorry guys but it's Mm. Absolutely. And how do you make skillet bread? Just flour and baking powder and salt with a bit of water in a frying pan. Voila! Oh. Et voila! Yeah. I got hummus on my boobies! <laughs> <laughs> this is skillet bread and Thank you, Frank and Alex. This has become a very good popular food of ours and I love it on a Sunday afternoon. Delicious. Um, and it's delicious. Paro, where Pakawa? Where Pakawa? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, it's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. So do join us on our journey as we convert this Citroen Relay into our tiny home. Next week we'll be starting on the roof rack and also a suspension lift. See you soon. Thanks for watching our first ever vlog from Nikki and I and Azza the dog. We hope to catch you sometime again soon, so like and subscribe, we'll be over the moon.